Unpack Arctic Front. Keep all connections dry. Connect Arctic Front to the electrical and coaxial umbilicals. Pass these off. We'll put that, put the spiral in the left sided, left superior branch. And that will serve also as my floral marker on where my balloon should go. So let's take a look at the balloon. Just connect Pass this up. Trap the balloon underwater to get any micro bubble out of the folds of the balloon. And we have back loaded the wire. And again, we want to flush out any air in the system well. We have chosen to use manifold. This is actually where the interventional chain staff are very knowledgeable in doing this, getting all the air bubbles out, working with a manifold, flushing out everything well. Looking good. Okay. Good. Perfect. So wires back. So the this valve is actually a very tight valve, which is on purposely so because the last thing you want is to have any air trapped in there to, to escape in there. So we can open up the valve, keep it absolutely straight, fixating the handle and inserting this just slowly one small branch at a time. At this point, when the Arctic front balloon passes through the flex cath handle, advance the guide wire a few centimeters to make sure the wire leads the way into the left atrium. So I can actually see when my balloon is going toward the atria, but I will floral so you can see where things are. We have a floral marker, the balloon is out. I'm going to expose the wire so that will track things well. So on the LAO view, I actually do have a nice view and nice angle to work at. To see where I can track into the vein. So. That's my marker for the left side of the vein. We know it's a common loss, and we know this will be the inferior. But I like to go for the superior first if it will go there. Ensure the guide wire is positioned distally into the pulmonary vein before tracking to minimize risk of perforation. So the catheter itself has a couple floral markers. I'm going to pull the spiral back. One option if you have the 3D mapping and have the ice or anything like that is that I know on ice my spiral is at the ostium here. I'm going to correlate that visually to the floral. So now I know where the os is on floral. So looking at the floral marker, I'm going to keep that wire distally for, to stabilize the catheter. I'm going to pull back the balloon until that first floral marker there, which is the injection port and the main body of the balloon. And the second floral marker is going to be the proximal end of the balloon, which will want to be more in, in alignment with the sheath.